Hi, this is Shannon Skipper with Square. Today, we're taking a look at in-app payments SDK for iOS. I'll show you how to implement the credit card flow for customers to enter their card details. Before we begin, you should set up a Square developer account as well as a Heroku account if you want to set up the back end. So step one, copy the GitHub repo from the description below and Git clone it like so. Then we'll CD into the in-app payments iOS quick start directory. And now that we're in the directory, we can see that there is an XC workspace extension file. And let's go ahead and open that with Xcode. And here we are in the app with Xcode. And this is the README. In Xcode, click the top level in-app payment sample and open the general tab. We can see the bundle identifier, and I'm going to add my last name in lowercase to the end. Now let's log on to developer.squareup.com slash apps and create a new application. Let's name it Super Cookie, and then we can click the Create Application button. We can now view the application details, and we'll see that we're in sandbox setting mode here. Make sure if you're in production mode to toggle over to sandbox mode for testing. And now we'll copy the application ID. Let's go back to Xcode and open the constant.swift file and replace the application ID with your sandbox application ID. You can find the constant.swift file in the in-app payments sample directory under the constants folder. And we'll go ahead and replace the application ID placeholder with our sandbox application ID. Now that we can build and run the app, let's select a simulator here. I'll just choose an iPhone and press the build and run button in the top left. As you can see, it's building now. And once that's ready, let's launch an iOS simulator. And don't panic. It's going to take a minute to load. So once the app is loaded, you'll see the super cookie. Let's click the Buy button. That takes us to the next screen, where we can see that we have a total of $1, and it says our shipping location. So let's pay with a card, clicking on that Pay button to start the payment flow. That means we're now using the in-app payments SDK to securely receive the buyer's info. I'm going to enter a placeholder card today, which we can start with 4, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, and the rest ones. And now let's try using an invalid expiration date, one that's in the past. We'll see that the payment flow gives us a warning. Please enter a valid payment expiration date. So let's put a new date in that's in the future. It's OK if it's not a real expiration date, since this is a placeholder card. But it at least needs to be possible. Let's also choose a CVV number and a zip code, and then click Pay. And success! Now, we haven't actually charged the card, but we captured a card token. We can capture the card details and see what we got back in our card nonce. We pass that now to our backend to either store a card on file with the customer's API or to make a one-time charge with the payments API. For this super cookie app, we've created an example backend that you can just deploy to Heroku with a single click. So follow along with the quick start guide linked in the description below to deploy the backend. Then you can really charge a card with your nonce. You'll want to use a backend server for actually charging the card, since it'll protect both your private access token and also serve as a pricing point of truth. Anyway, that's how you make a payment with iOS and the in-app payments SDK. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think in the comments or tweet us at SquareDev. We can't wait to see what you build.